Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're over a month into school and hopefully back into that lunch routine, or maybe it's dreaded for you. I know it's tough. Are your kids sick of their lunches yet? Are you struggling looking for new ideas for lunches? Well, we are back to basics with budget-friendly, hearty, and seasonal common dishes to make ahead of the week, which is amazing. Joining us via Skype, finally, it's been a minute, executive chef and owner of Twist Catering, LaToya Fagan. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see you. I know right now parents are like, please help. <laughs> it is the bane of everyone's yeah. existence to try and pull off lunches on top of everything else, whether virtual learning or in school. So you've got three amazing oh, recipes. Yeah. I know it's very difficult for parents right now. And staying home and they're running out of things that kids eat. And kids, especially the kids who are actually going to school from home, I tend to be hearing that they're eating like three breakfasts and two lunches and dinners like they're kind of eating mom and dad out of house and home. Yeah, so, that's so true. And we try want, to figure out some uh, stuff for you. You want to strike the balance, right? You want it nutritious because they got to eat it, but you also need it to be delicious, easy, and quick. So let's get started with the first of three. Lightly crusted baked chicken. Yeah, so actually, no, we weren't doing um, a baked chicken. What oh. I had said was if you had a, like leftover chicken or you can make quesadillas, because quesadillas you can pre-do. And then so we have some dishes here, we can show you with these quesadillas here. Please do. So with whatever your leftover protein uh, is, like chicken, everything. you use it uh, in many ways to carry yeah. over, which is so smart. So you have the quesadillas? Yes, we have some quesadillas. We have a nice beef chili, but you can also use chicken chili or pumpkin or like kind of any vegetables you want to throw in there, mm. you know, and you can, that'll be a good way, like, to get the kids eating a bit more. And then we did some nice, like, parfait. And you could just kind of use whatever fruits you have around. So we got some strawberries and berries. We made this granola here from scratch, and you can make granola, and it's a good way to also get the kids involved in making granola. How'd you do it? So with the granola, we just have some rolled oats. We have some raisins, um, some almonds. Um... We put a little bit of uh, wheat in there. You can put spelt. Like, I threw a whole bunch of different things in there. But there's really easy. It's kind of really whatever you want to do. But I would say, like, oats would probably be the best thing. Yeah, and I was going to say, oats. that's the other thing. Go, like, you can hide the healthy stuff in there. And it's it, yeah. according to your kids' needs. I know some kids love raisins. Others will not eat anything with them inside of it. So maybe it's a certain nut or whatever it is that they like. They can each have their own little granola, personalized, customized granola. Absolutely. And if you just want to have, if they want to keep it really simple, they can just put even oats and then maybe add a little bit of honey to it and let it stick together, make like little oat balls or whatnot. You can do that. Smart. Now for quesadillas, yeah. how do you make that work ahead of time? Because I love them when they're warm and toasty and crispy. And then the cheese is so good when it's ooey gooey and melted. So how do you make that recipe work for the next day? Right. So basically your, your chicken's already going to be cooked and then saute up with some onions and seasoning. Your tortilla shells, you could put the chicken in since it's already cooked, then put some cheese in, fold it. You can wrap that in saran wrap. So even when the kids get home or you're having a late day and even when you get home, you could pop that in the toaster oven and it'll crisp up and um, put it in a frying pan. Smart. And then regarding the chili, is it the same thing? Just like easy to, you know, warm it up? Is it just a matter of putting it on the, the stove for a couple minutes? Yep, that's just warming it. Yeah. yeah literally warm it up again you can put the microwave so you make your chili from like sunday have that for the whole week you can take your chili even have the kids make fun with it have chili cheese fries make sloppy joes like you know so much things that you can do my aunt adrian used to make the best chili with just like a simple like black bean recipe or i think it was kidney bean and yeah. it was all about simmering those flavors for a while what's the perfect starter for the perfect chili because you got to build those flavors and layers right that flavor profile yeah so definitely i like to start with like you know onions celery, um, tomatoes, and then throw in whatever fresh herbs I can find. Just let that all go. I get a good meat going. But if you want to get a little bit healthier, I know some people are trying to step back from that meat. Ground um, turkey or ground chicken can work. You can throw in some pumpkin or some squash. Again, those are things you can puree up so the kids won't even notice that they're in there. Smart. And how long will that last in the fridge once you make a big batch? Because you also don't want to get all that stuff out every day. When you come at the, home at the end of the day, you're exhausted. You don't want to clean a big pot. How long will it last in the fridge or maybe the freezer? Oh, in the freezer, that will last for weeks. Okay. Like in the fridge, though, I would say, I, I mean, a good seven days, you're good in the fridge. 
Awesome. Where do we find more? Put it in the freezer. You can also compartmentalize it and then pull it out. Smart. Now, if we don't want to make it, we just want to order it, Latoya. How do we get a hold of you and your delicious food? Oh, you can come on by the store. We are still doing um, takeout and walk-in, and we're um, just in Scarborough here, right in, at 91 Rylander Boulevard. You can also call ahead or check out our website. All the info is on there and our daily menus that are posted. We actually are going to have some beef chili on the menu today, you know, a little cooler this morning, so we figured it'd be great. Yeah, the comfort foods. Latoya, have I seen your food on our good friend Tracy Moore's Instagram account? Have you catered for her? I know she's come to my TIFF parties and stuff. So, yeah, she's eating. She's definitely eating from us. Yeah, for sure. Tracy's awesome. Listen, you do such a beautiful job. Thank you so much for those ideas. I know parents are like, thank you. Needed that because my kids are sick of the same old, same old. <laughs> Love to you. Stay yeah. safe. Thank you so much, Latoya, with Twist Thanks, guys. Catering. Thanks for having me. Where do we go online? Uh, Twistcatering.com. We'll be back with more BT right after yeah. this.